Good morning, and thanks for joining us here on our uh, Facebook page, fox16.com, krk.com, as well as our Facebook pages. I am Ashley King, joined by Robert Holt. How are you doing today, Robert? I am wonderful. Can you tell I am not in the studio? I was today? wondering, where are you at? Yeah, I, I am down in the incredible town of El Dorado today, and I'm so grateful to the Country Inn and Suites for allowing me to come in early <laughs> and uh, set up. Miss Miss Wanda down here was great to me, and uh, we're we're getting ready to do some uh, some victory over violence stuff down here. We're okay. We're, we're yeah, yeah, yeah. We're working with uh, uh, high school kids tomorrow, and and uh, working with the Share Foundation down here, and they they you know they they started their violence prevention intervention plan mm -hmm. about uh, five years ago with them and uh, okay. so we're back again doing all of that kind of fun stuff and cool and talking to grandparents and talking with the uh, Arkansas Prevention Network tonight and and just just all sorts of cool things going on cool good to hear that glad to hear that Brand we got it we got to you know cover the whole state can't just stay in central Arkansas that's right that's yep. right branching out branching mm -hmm. out yeah, yeah so it has been um, a very interesting week last two weeks i guess you could say the this last week and specifically i know on on friday night there were you know quite a few shootings within in a span of a, a few hours two people died it was a, a pretty pretty difficult uh, my my heart is breaking I, I, I all the way down here i was on the phone with several people some of the city directors and that kind of thing and it was just you know everybody's like okay what are, what are we going to do and of mm -hmm. course you and i and I'm, I'm, I had the opportunity to talk with uh, our guests for just a few minutes after. You know, our heart is, and we keep telling people, we've got to get people to all of us come together, yep. to unite and speak in the same message to everybody, reaching people with love, you know, yeah. reaching people that are hurting. So, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful, and I'm hopeful about our, our guest that's coming on today to, to really see how we can assist him and and all of us build this army of love out here. In yeah, we definitely have to come together. They say it takes a village, and, and that, that is definitely true. So I do want to introduce our guests. Uh, today we are honored to have the CEO of Big Brothers Big Sisters of Central Arkansas on to talk a little bit more about you know what's going on with the program there and just how uh, they're getting involved. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in our guest, Mr. Raymond Long. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Hey Ashley, thank thanks for having me. And, yes. Um, All right. So we, um, I do want to remind people we are streaming on our Facebook page, the Fox 16 Facebook page, the KARK Facebook page, as well as our um, website. So if you guys have any questions for Raymond about Big Brothers Big Sisters, how you can get involved, how you can have a child get involved, be sure to comment on there, and we'll get those uh, questions answered for you. So Raymond, first of all, um, I just kind of want to, you know, you you took over as CEO last year, so. First of all, what made you decide um, that you wanted to, you know, take on this task of being the CEO at Big Brothers Big Sisters of Central Arkansas? Absolutely, great question. Um, I personally know how important it is to have an agency um, to lead the mentoring efforts of the Central Arkansas region. Um, and during my time at the Little Regional Chamber, although it was fun, although I enjoyed my time, it was important for me to do the work that matters the most and, and that's impacting our future. Um, I knew with my personal background of overcoming my childhood adversity that I would be um, the leader for the moment um, to help really build this organization um, and curate programs and hire a team of individuals who, who are qualified and who understand what our youth are facing. Mm -hmm. You know, besides besides your mom or your your family, mm -hmm. did you have a mentor in your life that really stands out? Uh, and how did that mentor affect you? Yeah, you know, mentoring is is is, is my, my secret sauce. Um, it's <laughs> the reason that I am the the, the person um, that I am today. And so, the one mentor that I always talk about that kind of stood out during my childhood, um, I was fortunate to have a cousin. Um, its name was Kenny Newby, and right in at the peak of you know my childhood adversity during a time where my dad was really battling um, a, a, a crack, crack addiction, and he was out of the home, and DHS was involved in trying to take you know take me out of um, under the care of my, of my mother, who was very capable um, of, of providing service. I started to act out in school, um, and I faced explosion a couple times. 
um, just because of the trauma that I was dealing with. And so he actually came down from Atlanta to have a 30 minute conversation with me um, about my potential and that he believed, right, that I could um, be more than the opportunities that were presented to me, right, in, in my neighborhood, right? Um, and because of that conversation, I knew that trouble, violence, what, it didn't align with the vision um, that I have for my life or his vision for my life. And so I was able to hold on to that. And that was in the sixth grade. And so from sixth grade all the way through high school, I was able to get through without any more infractions, without any more discipline issues. But it was the power of those 30 minutes initially. And then the actual follow up with him holding me accountable um, to, to, to what I said I was going to do. Wow. Wow. I'm that, you're, I mean, of course, you, you already know, I mean, you, you're, you and Ashley have known each other a while now, and, uh, you know, it's her heart to see people's lives changed, but also to have somebody in their life in order to help guide, direct, answer questions, be there, to have a shoulder to cry on, and all those things. And that is what makes an, a tremendous difference in, in our children's lives, as well as we as adults need that as well. Yeah, I was actually going to ask you to talk about the power of mentoring, but I feel like your story kind of just explained that uh, without, you know, having to really talk about the power of it. You showed the power of it and how it impacted you. So what, um, let's talk about with Big Brothers, Big Sisters, you guys are, you know, always looking for mentors. So what, what direction is the program going in right now? Absolutely. Um, bolder, better, bigger. Um, what the central Arkansas area needs and what, what it has needed for quite some time is a shared framework around youth mentoring. Um, we have a good problem and a bad problem for the past six or seven months since I've been kind of listening to the community and doing my research. There's a lot of organizations who are doing mentoring. There's a lot of people, right, who are kind of doing mentoring in their own silos, but there's a model that's been around for a hundred years that that works right and there's a hundred years of, of, of data to support that and so what i want to do is align the central arkansas region back to what robert was saying earlier so that we're approaching every child the same with the same message using the same um techniques um and and, and program models to get the outcomes that we're looking for to actually ignite the potential that's already there. My CEO potential, my potential as an economic developer in the central Arkansas region, that's not something that just came about, right? That was there during the worst times of my life, right? But because of mentoring, right? I've been able to really live out um, my full potential. You know, one of the things that Ashley and I have, have wished for and have tried to develop and we're not giving up on it but that is to have a statewide mentoring coalition and that that other mentoring organizations can come and be a part of and also can learn from and and, and begin getting ideas and you know grants all those types of things where where we're, we're helping those organizations we are the only state, Arkansas is the only state that has no mentoring oversight. I didn't know if you knew that or not. Oh, absolutely. I knew it, um, which is why whenever I took over this organization, um, my, my plans are to become that organization. Um, now, I can't speak to the rest of the state, but certainly in, in central Arkansas, um, we are the, the most qualified. Our employees they care the most. Um, we've mentored over 10,000 kids since our existence. We've been around for 53 years. And so there's not, a, there's not another organization to look to mm -hmm. um, when it comes to mentoring. We're connected to Big Brothers Big Sisters of America. That's over 200 agencies that we share best practices with. Um, and the organization that you're, you're mentioning, I believe it's called mentor.com, right? Big Brothers, yeah. Big Sisters of America, that's one of our primary partners. Mm -hmm. So we have access to those best practices as well. Um, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, it's been under the radar um, for maybe three or four years. You know, Half of that is because of COVID. Um, some of that was because of leadership transitions. Um, but now we've learned from that adversity. We've adapted our service model um, 
to 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 meet the current time, to meet the current needs. Um, and we're excited to roll out um, heavy starting in March um, with programs all over Central Arkansas. Yeah, can you talk a little bit about, um, I'm, I'm gonna show some video in just a second. You guys just started the uh, Bigs with Badges program as well, right? Can you tell a little bit about that? Yeah, Bigs with Badges um, with our partners at the Pulaski County Sheriff's Office. Um, Sergeant Willie Davis, um, who I've done some mentoring with for the past three or four years, um, they're passionate about their work. They want to bridge the relationship between police officers um, and the youth, and there's no better way to do that than through our evidence-based model. And so after months of discussion, we announced it, I want to say maybe two or three weeks ago, mm -hmm. that we're actually going to partner in Pulaski County Special School District schools and actually mentor children collectively together, right? using that evidence-based approach with Big Brothers and Big Sisters administering and evaluating the great work that they're already doing. This is an example of what it means to be bigger together if you look at the hashtag um, that, 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 that's in my background. What about your, what about the, uh, you know, the, the program I was reading on your, your, your site about, mm -hmm. I believe it's uh, for adults trying to advocate for big brothers and big sisters. Can you talk a little bit about that? Is yeah, that and so, and so you, you may be mentioning something that's being prepared to be announced soon. Um, we're, we're having, we're establishing a mentor um, task force. Yes. Um, that's go, we're going to about 25 or 30 individuals who are going to be ambassadors for us this, this year and who's going to contribute to the over a thousand children that we are aiming to serve um, in the year of 2022. That's going to be announced officially at the Mosaic um, Culture Center um, on the 22nd um, from, from 5 to 7. And so we're inviting the general public to attend um, and also learn more about how they can get involved um, with, the, with, the, with the agency and be a part um, of the solution and be a part of the, the, the movement to really empower and ignite the potential of the, the young people in Central Arkansas. Yeah, you mentioned getting the, the community involved. So um, is there a need? I'm sure there is a need, but I'll ask you the question. Is there a need for volunteers to become mentors or bigs, as you guys call it? Absolutely, there's a need. What, what makes our organization so powerful, what's different about us, is that we're not contained to a building. We're not contained to one place. We can go as far as our volunteers allow us to go. And so volunteerism is our way of pairing young people with the relationships that they need, right? We are who we hang around, we, we become who we interact with, right? Um, and so volunteers, it powers your organization, it saves your organization a, a, a ton of money, it enables us to be good stewards of the dollars that the public um, trust us with, um, and it helps bridges, I mean, gaps across socioeconomic um, barriers right and racial barriers and so volunteers is the number one thing you will be asking for no matter where i am no matter who i'm yeah. talking to the partnership is always connected to um, getting getting people um, involved yeah what would you say if somebody's out there watching this right now they're kind of on the fence like eh, i mean this isn't pertained to me like that violence doesn't happen where i live so why why should i get involved what would you say to those people to get them to get involved and to want to you know become a mentor yeah, I would say, you know, our community, right? It's 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 every to to solve issues in our community, it's a problem everybody has to take on. Um, if a certain percentage or a certain area of the community you live in um, suffers, then that indirectly and directly impacts your life one way or another. And so, I would challenge those individuals. Number one get involved because it's the right thing to do to help the most vulnerable populations, right? And then secondly, do a little research, um, come to one of our volunteer information sessions and you'll see how mentoring through Big Brothers Big Sisters, it's more because it, 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 it saves tax dollars, it, it creates jobs, it, it, it promotes love and healing relationships. Do, do you see right now um, with 
with COVID and, and everything that's been going on for the past two years and the, the political atmosphere, the division that's happening in our, in our world today, which is horrible right now, I am personally, I'm seeing where youth and this put aside all color, all, 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 uh, uh, hierarchy, high, you know, rich, poor, whatever. I am seeing youth that are suffering tremendously because of COVID mental illness, you know, the suicide issue. And then you've got a domestic violence issue. They're seeing their parents that are unfortunately that are going at one another. And these children are seeing all of this right now that is happening. And where do you see mentoring fitting in with all of that? I know that's big, but where do you see mentoring fitting in with that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, one of our main outcomes, um, it's socio-emotional competencies. Through relationships, you, you learn how to deal with things, right? By having somebody around who may not be facing the same adversities as you, uh, it enables you to really connect with somebody to help you think clearly. Also, sometimes young people they feel isolated, right? Doing doing normal environments, right? But during COVID, especially, right? Isolation is it's 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 it, it, it's 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 more in our faces than it's ever been. Mm -hmm. And so having those relationships, whether it's virtual, whether it's in person, right? Now you know, oh, so this is somebody who 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 cares for me, somebody that that's not being paid, someone that's not that's not judging me, right? Someone that that understands that, yes, I am up against adversity, and yes, my situation may not be ideal, but because of their presence in my lives, they can help me navigate those circumstances so that I, too, have the chance to become great in my own right. Mm -hmm. So I know for a long time, people have looked at Big Brothers Big Sisters as just a mentoring organization. Um, can you talk a little bit about how you guys are trying to move beyond just mentoring and kind of you know, looking at the holistic approach? Yeah, mentoring will, will always be the, the bread and butter of what we, what we do. Wow, that's, that's a lot I could say there. Um, it's, it's, it's more than mentoring. And so when people think of conventional mentoring, they think of an adult paired with one child, right? They don't see our entire service delivery model. They don't see us using outcome evaluation systems doing a risk inventory profile when we first meet a family so that it helps us understand and get to the root cause of whatever adversity they could be facing, right? Then we're able to offer match support to the mentor and the, 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 the child that we're serving along with their family to help really reduce the risk, right, of a child making decisions, right, that could be self-sabotaging. And so when we evaluate all of our outcomes, we're able to make adjustments to what, what resources we're funneling in to that family. Some of it's through group mentoring, some of it's through one-on-one -on -one mentoring, some of it's through the referral of different um, resources and tools. But then also mentoring has an impact on society um, on, on society in, 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 in its whole. And so you think about academic outcomes, the, the data says 84% of our littles have better grades, academic goals and confidence. If you think about the impact on the workforce, littles being exposed to careers that they, they necessarily didn't know about before being involved with our programs. If you think about public safety, right, how mentoring, it's a proven model that reduces interactions with the juvenile justice system. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's, it's developing the whole child impacts the entire community, which is why it's critical that we invest into youth mentoring and we all embrace this shared framework of making sure that every child who, who wants a mentor, who needs access to any type of mentoring um, can take advantage of that, of that free service. One of my closest, one of my closest friends in Little Rock that 
uh, is Cindy Doremus, CEO of the Boys and Girls Club of Central Arkansas. And they are always screaming for mentors. Not, they don't want to do their own mentoring program. I mean, yes, they'd like to have adults volunteer, but to have a, you know, a mentoring, uh, sustainable program, I know that they're always screaming for those types of things. And I, so is this what you're looking for as far as partnership to be able to partner with, you know, organizations such as that to help those children? Because those th there's two clubs that we're working very closely with. Those children go to the club, and then when they leave the club, they're having to worry about the gunshots that are going off in the community. Some of them have to hide in the woods, at, uh, you know, at night before they even get to their home. And so that's that's one of the areas that my heart is, you know, is boys and girls clubs, and uh, you know, to try to help them get mentors in their clubs. And so, um, you know, man, I'm hearing your heart. I'm going, oh boy, can there? Can we do this? Absolutely, that's a great question. I, I've recently had the opportunity to meet Cindy. Um, love her energy, love her vision. And yes, partnerships, that's one of my top priorities. Big Brothers Big Sisters of Central Arkansas, we are here to serve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so any after school program, that's, if you want mentors, right? If you want to truly bring in the experts on mentoring, all you have to do is give us a call. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And we will do everything we can to help establish a mentoring program at your facility. But make no mistake, we don't have all the answers. Um, we have the framework. We have the program model. We have the, the experts on our, on, on our staff to help facilitate these programs. But it's going to be a community-wide effort to advance the state of mentoring in Central Arkansas. But I have faith. And I've seen Central Arkansas show up before, so I know that we will do it again. Yeah, yeah. You, you mentioned it's going to take the community. I know the um, city is also, you know, trying to, to do some, do its part as well with, with uh, offering some money to different organizations. And you guys just received some of that money from the city? Yeah, yeah, yeah. a resolution was to the, the city board, it, it, it passed. And so we're, we're, we're in the, the, the contract negotiation standpoint. And so, yes, we're going to receive some money to help the city of Little Rock um, with with um, community um, intervention, prevention, violence um, mm -hmm. programs. And what I proposed to the city of Little Rock, and they made a great decision um, by buying in, you know, kudos, big shout outs to, to the board. But I proposed a shared framework for mentoring. Mm -hmm. I want every school, every after school program, every grassroots organization that are interested in doing mentoring to do it the same way with our support. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna hire a, a special contractor just to manage that project. And so we won't leave any stone unheard in the city of Little Rock as far as our attempts to partner with organizations, with other youth serving organizations. We have a, uh, I have a, I have a meeting that's coming up uh, with pastors and uh, a couple of other uh, um, community leaders on the 24th that we're, uh, you know, with the Victory Over Violence campaign. And, mm -hmm. and uh, because we are targeting the Wakefield area, uh, developing uh, what we call our love ambassadors in that community and uh, that are going to reach out and find out what the needs of individuals are and then focus them in helping with resources and pushing, pushing those ambassadors to really get those people in need, whether it's a child who needs a mentor. So they call up what? Big brothers, big sisters. And that's what we're going to be trying to, um, you know, trying to establish. And Wakefield is our first, uh, is it the first community that uh, we're going to be working in to, you know, to develop that uh, along with the Whetstone Boys and Girls Clubs. Yep, Robert, we, 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 we want to help and we're, 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 we're here to serve you. And I, um, man, I'm, I'm putting you on. I mean, I, we're there. I'm there with you. Yep. Big Brothers Big Sisters of Central Arkansas, the, 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 the vision to become bolder, better, and bigger. We, we want to become a household name again. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and we, we, we will um, with the community support. I wouldn't have taken the job if I didn't leave. Um, the community wouldn't rally behind this agency like, like never before. 
Yeah. Well, I'm very encouraged. I'm sorry, Ashley. I'm I don't keep going. In, I'm very, very encouraged uh, by you, uh, brother. And um, I, I've, you know, I've been I've been doing this for 30 years uh, on the streets, and uh, so I'm I'm really encouraged by your heart, and uh, and also I'm seeing that leadership in you, and I'm I'm very encouraged. And I I really believe this this go around. We're going to see big brothers and big sisters uh, come to fruition in a mighty, mighty way. And I want to do all I can to assist and help you with that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. That means a lot. So if there is anybody out there who wants to get involved, how can they do that? Absolutely. You can go to our website, uh, bbbsca.org. There's a contact form that, that you can fill out. Um, but better yet, we want to make it really convenient for people to be to get involved with us. And so you can actually text us now. Hmm. Um, and our staff will, will respond within 12 hours. And so 501-891-6722, 501-891-6722. Okay, perfect. All right, any other questions yeah. you got, Robert? Well, I, yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I don't have my clock here, so yeah. I'm not sure where we, we got are. We got probably time. about five minutes or so. Five minutes, okay. Well, yeah, I do have one more for you, brother. Um, that is... I know for me, when we, we, we wake up and we've seen there's been another shooting, um, can you tell those that are, that are out there watching, and then we'll see this after because we post it online, what does your heart do at that moment when you, when you, when you see that news that comes out? You know, Robert, uh complete transparency it 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 man it, it hurt um you know i haven't been in the in the in the role that long but then you start to wonder like am i doing enough right you start to wonder man does 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 anybody really care um but after those raw emotions it it it, it, it it's time to act with a sense of urgency right lives are on the line um wasted potential, right? Doctors, lawyers, um, engineers, right? Um, CEOs, right? Um, news anchors, right? People who can contribute to society, people who have all the potential in the world, but because of economic and, and social factors that are out of their control, right? Um, and, 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 and poverty and, 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 and the, the inequity, right? Because of that, um, they're being shaped into individuals who are making poor decisions um but the good news is there's something we can do about it mm -hmm. um yeah 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 definitely well, brother uh, man thank you I, I appreciate it i uh i'm glad that i've got to meet you finally and i hope that i get to meet you in person i'm yeah. sure our, our our path will cross robert Ashley, thank you again. For yes, having thank me. thank you for uh, joining us and uh, and and just you know sharing people sharing with people how they can get involved with Big Brothers Big Sisters again. Can you say the number to call again one more time or to text? Yep, you can text 501-891-6722. Perfect. All right. If you want to get involved, be sure to text that number and they will connect you. Thank you so much for joining us today, Raymond. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Raymond. All right. Hey. Any final words, Robert? Thank you, Ashley. I know you've I know you've been wanting this to take place, and mm. and uh, so thank you. That's uh, man. I, I'm I'm very very encouraged. Perfect. Good. Very That's what I want to hear. So hopefully yeah. this makes a little bit of a difference, and we will uh you know keep trying. That's all we can do, right? That's right. That's yep. right. All yep. right. There's victory with love, right? Yes, there is victory with love. That is all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll be back here again in two weeks. We'll see you then. Okay. I'll see you later.